Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and I'm going to take a look at the release trailer for Kalki 2898AD. Kalki, am I saying that right? I'm sorry if I'm not. Uh, anyway, so I had a lot of people ask me to watch that last trailer that came out, but now there's a new trailer. It's the release trailer because this comes out in a few days, right? So, or did it come out today? It is Friday. And it, this is a release trailer, so it would make sense if it actually came out today. Um, all right, it came out either today or next week. I don't know. Because um, sometimes they do, like, release trailers or launch trailers, and it's not it's actually not coming out for a few more days, you know? Uh, anyway, so uh, I guess I could just look. What would it say? Hello? Tell me what I want to know. I don't see it. Anyway, so uh, I thought the first trailer was pretty cool. It looked like a, a legit sci-fi epic. Um and uh yeah so let's check this out let's check this one out and uh let's let's check let's check it out me and you friends forever let's go three two one play yeah there you go. gotta get that roof fixed okay so it's a yeah that's what i figured it was going to my womb. Oh no. Sarah Connor over here, except it's God. <laughs> no, John Connor. John Connor, JC, Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> I guess you won't be. Okay, so he's just, he's just a bounty hunter. Is that all people? Like, actual people or CG? I look pretty good. I'm Zenyatta. I love seeing get, uh, people getting hit with a. Oh. Alright, never mind. I take it back. I'm not even finish that now. We got a Matrix vibe a little bit. The, not the Matrix itself, the outside, the actual real world in the Matrix. Woo! Epic battles, damn. <laughs> He's like, come at me, come on. Not gonna lie. Yeah, like that, that, that especially reminds me of the last, well, the third Matrix movie now. Get to the last one. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, see, it's not out yet. See, I knew that. The hell? Did I just flatline? What was that? <laughs> it's. Anyway. Uh, uh, the world's shortest flatline. Um, all right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie though. I'm still like, I'm like, I'm like, sixty percent of the way there when it comes to knowing what the hell's going on in this movie. Um, obviously, there were bad people, people, good people, someone who's a god. I, I get that. I'm sure once you watch the movie, it'll make more sense. Also, it's a little hard to keep the balance of like reading the subtitles and also watching what's happening on the, <laughs> on the video. Um, but it looks cool. I mean, it does look cool. It looks like a sci-fi epic, which is cool. We need more of those. And you know what? After Dune Part Two success, uh, I think America will have a lot more of those. That'd be nice. Um, Maybe. We'll see. Um, will that be the next... I mean, that was, for a little bit, the MCU level of thing. You know, popularity. Like, before the MCU, there was book adaptations. That was, a, that was like, the big one, I think, before MCU. Because you had, of course, The Lord of the Rings. You had Harry Potter. You had, um... What's that other mildly successful one? Not Hunger Games. That was after MCU. Um, that was very successful. Uh, there was another one. I mean, I guess technically comics are books. So they're still have I guess, never mind. I think about it. It's pointless to even say that. Anyway, what I was going to say is the next thing could be sci-fi epics. 
we could i mean after doom part two did very well and people loved it i could see them doing more stuff like that maybe maybe not on the budget of because I, I someone let me know in the comments i think this has like a 70 million dollar budget or something that's I, i'm assuming translated to american dollars um which, if true, it looks really good. It looks about as good as, like, a Rebel Moon did, from what I've seen from Rebel Moon. And Rebel Moon, I think, costs, like, 150 60 or something. Um, I know that's, that's like, that's both Rebel Moon movies. But this is, this movie's going to be quite long, right? It's going to be, like, three hours. I don't know. Uh, uh. And I've never seen Rebel Moon, so I can't say if uh, that budget was used well in those two movies. Uh, what I've heard, it's not great, but uh, there we go. <clears throat> Maybe I'll like them. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's cut. So that's there you go. That's it. It looks cool. It looks cool. So I'll definitely uh, one day uh, like go on a Indian cinema binge. Um, I really want to watch Triple R as a reaction though. That I definitely want to do. It's just like editing that is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Not that I'll edit it anyway, but if I do want to, that's going to be a nightmare. It's like, what, a, a three and a half hour movie? Edit down to like, you know. And I've heard like people have had issues with Triple R in the past with copyright and stuff. So I still want to see it though. Anyway, that's it because I've heard it's, it's amazing. But anyway, that's it. Bye.